Hey, what's going on, guys? Y'all already know the vibes. It's another episode of Dumb Funny, where I invite all my dumb friends, and I talk about funny shit. Okay? It's your boy right here, Jiggy. Y'all already know the vibes. And here, my guest today is the homie, the most famous person I know, the originator Aww. of the Broco Network, TikTok's finest, Simba Jones, aka yeah. Baby Simba. Yeah. What's happening, yeah. my guy? What? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ski. Yes, sir. Ski. But um, anyway, the fit is crazy right now. For real, for real. I ain't gonna lie. You actually, you actually yeah. got the the fit is on right now, bro. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Go up. Fit. Ch- drip check. Drip check. Let's see what's happening. So uh, I'm on the Gorp Core trend, which is like a winter trend. Because uh, oh, last oh. time you roasted me for my fucking shoes, <laughs> you said they're walking shoes. <laughs> um, honestly, I forgot the name of these shoes. They're like S- Salomon. They so look fine. They're as like fuck. mountain shoes. Uh huh. But again, it's a trend. Wow. And then jaded London pants, Ooh. which are like parachute pants. Yeah. It's like those white ass pants. Yeah, they've been the the vibe now for real. Facts. For real. Yeah, Facts. they're taking over. Which I'm cool with because they're comfortable as fuck. And so how much you drop? Wait, wait. How much on the shoes? The shoes are just one eighty. One eighty. All right, cool. And it's how much on the pants? And they'll last me a while. Yeah. Pants probably about forty. Okay. And then this is a Travis Scott shirt. Ooh. I think. You think? I think. I don't know. I just like Yeah, the color. yeah. So it's Cactus Jack on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Travis yeah. Scott shirt. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? Shit. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> but how much, you pay, how much you pay for it? This shirt? Yeah. My friend, she owns a shoe store. So she oh, got it from me like, like 30. Ooh, uh, that's hook clutch. Me up. Whole time, that shit probably like $300 for real, for real. Yeah. Ah, oh, I be hating that shit. And I got bro. the Snorlax socks. Hey, turn up. Turn up. Shout out to Pokemon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so whole fit, probably more around like 500 for real, for real. Because that Travis Scott shirt is probably going to be worth something. Oh, the resale? Yeah. It's, it's probably way better resale. Probably for real, for real. I hope so. Okay, word, word, word. All These right. Atlanta hoes be. Taxing like nobody's business. Bro. Oh, there's a uh, shit uh, I be wearing. Um shit called Warren and Lotus that I'll be wearing. And um if you buy it up here like from a store, you're spending like 3 325 for it. But if you get the shit online, bro, 175. Oh, hell no. Yeah, nah, bro. Y'all Atlanta niggas need to stop taxing for real, for real. That shit ridiculous. They tax the hell, but don't make no fucking sense. Make it come up. I, today I got on the uh the snake skin SB dunks, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a smooth like 200 right there, you feel what I'm saying? Uh these are Urban Outfitters. I don't know. I got this Oof. off a of, uh um, online i was on a set i was on a set for atlanta united ah that one right there actually you up? yeah yeah they let me oh, i didn't even see your poster yeah <laughs> and they um it was jack harlow stylist that was on there that day so she had the drip okay for the spice real. cargos yeah yes uh this right here i got this drawn at um there's like this resale uh store called true religion. Real. Smooth. true religion supreme there's no right oh, that's now. tough there's no right now it's reselling for like like seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. That's tough though. I got it for three fifty. Hey. Yeah. What's the good sex, no stress? That's just some shit you made, huh? Nah, nah, nah. That's YG right there. That's YG. One boo, right no here. X. Uh, what is it? Small circle, big chicks. Yes, yeah, sir. You feel what I'm saying? Because niggas got it. You know. That's 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 just that's how it is, bro. That's how it is. Hell yeah. I fuck with it. Mm. Anyway, bro, let's go ahead and get into a shot and then commence this fifteen minute shot <sighs> clock. Where all right, cool, cool, cool. Here's a here's a cut for you. Boom. Mm. And today we sipping on the Terramana. We got money. Hey, I'm just making it Who last for real, for real. You said what? Who did Terramana? Is that the a, Rock? The Rock. Yeah. There you go. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, like a hitting, huh? Shout out to Dwayne. Shout out to to Dwayne. Stop making movies, please. Cheers. I guess the nigga act the same. <laughs> on God, bro. It's like, man, when the Rock had a hairline, he was really out here acting. But the minute he lost his hairline is the minute his movie started going down. Oh. That be hitting, huh? <laughs> Fun fact for everybody who's listening, Simba is actually chasing this with Jameson and Coke. <laughs> Brad got an alcohol problem. Well, I'm getting used to Jameson because next month I go to Ireland. Ah. Yeah. And, you know, Irish whiskey. So it's like might as well get used to it because them Irish niggas they they bitch you out. They be drinking. Oh yeah, nah. Nah, but you gotta drink what they drink. Oh, Oh, for real? They're gonna try you. So I can't go over there and be like, oh shit, let me get a tequila. Hell no. Oh (laughs) damn, bro. You gonna say you gotta get a a Jameson or a Guinness? 
Oh, gross, yeah. man. I ain't never finna go to that motherfucker, bro. bro but they're funny because like Irish people are like the the black people of Europe. Oh, really? Like, everybody in Europe hates or used to hate Irish people. Uh, so they're funny and then you know how to crack jokes. So they'll roast your ass. Uh, you won't understand it, but they'll grill your ass and you just... <laughs> okay. Their accents. All right, cool. That might sound like a vibe. I may fuck around and go out there and drink some whiskey and shit, bro. All right, that sounds like a vibe. Yeah, right, yeah, the sir. Tough. The bitches? Redhead. Redhead? Ah, oh, I like me some redheads for real. See? Shout out. I think I my know. first girlfriend was a redhead, actually. Yeah, she's a redhead with fat ass. Oh, wow. Shout out, Sarah. And she was her crazy. name. Crazy. Sarah so crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was her crazy. Her crazy, Sarah. Yeah. She was born. <sighs> Oh yeah, shout out to Sarah. Shout out to Sarah. Shout out to all the Sarahs out there for her. With an H or without an H? Y'all. With an H. <laughs> Fuck all the Sarahs. With an H or without an H? With the H. With the- <laughs> I can't spell <laughs> out. <laughs> like, dyslexia kick it in. <laughs> I don't even know, bro. Wait, uh, oh, here's my shot o'clock timer. All right, cool, cool, cool. And shot o'clock starts now. Wait, what do you mean? So like the countdown, so we take the next shot. Nigga out. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, cool. So um all right, so tell me about the come up. So for all the people who don't know, Simba has nine point one million followers on TikTok. Did they all come in at one time or is it like Yeah, they over- all came in one time. Well two waves, maybe mm-hmm. three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Three waves. Wow, okay. So what was the first when was the first wave? So first wave was COVID was 2019. Mm-hmm. It was like the year after, or the year after it first started. So 2020, mm-hmm. um, where people could like, you couldn't really go out, but you can go to other people's houses. So we, my brother lived at home still, and he had a bunch of game nights. So we played DC, which is like a bunch of, you know, it's a that superhero shit. game. It's a superhero yeah. game. It's a superhero <laughs> card game. Yeah. And so everybody would come over and play. Mm-hmm. So I started inviting guys over. I started inviting like friends that like I worked with because you couldn't really go out anywhere, and we just started playing a bunch of drinking games. You know, getting drunk because there's fucking nothing no else, else to, to do. do. Yeah, and he started a podcast. So I asked him if I could start a podcast, and then we started a podcast, and then started playing games, started videoing the games, and then boom, it was COVID. So there's nothing wow. else to do. Yeah, bro. Shout out to everybody who hit TikTok during COVID. It's because they really like. The numbers was crazy. It's cringy as fuck. Everybody on TikTok, everybody who did TikTok <laughs> during COVID, majority fell off. Yeah, that's true. And that's like a trending thing right now. It's wow. like fall off tic- like TikTokers because like how cringy like their shit was. But like it was COVID, so it's like you had to take it. Yeah, yeah. The numbers just went up. It's because niggas weren't watching nothing else but TikTok. Facts. Damn. That's it's like the algorithm. Like it pushed out like the the weirdest shit. Yeah, the most like musically type shit is because it was musically yeah, yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. Basically, they were trying to like take over like musically too. Yeah, like trying to switch people from the app, so it's a bunch of musically shit and yeah. Ugh. Like now TikTok's like it's comedy now. It's That's funny. funny. That reminds me of Vine. You ever just look back on some of the Vine compilations and you're like, why the fuck were we laughing at? This I don't shit? know. Some <laughs> shit from Vine. I, I get some Vine, shit yeah. was funny, but then cool. some shit was just like cringe as fuck. It's like why? Why yeah. do we enjoy this though? I watched some like King Bat shit. And I'm like, damn, why did I laugh at that? It's like. <laughs> it, it, it. <laughs> He, he cool, but that shit's kind of corny sometimes. Bro, there was a kick match video that recently just went viral on Instagram. It's when he was speaking out about uh about George Floyd, and it's like he had like all the names of people who lost their lives due uh due to like police violence. But then it's like all it was a thread on Twitter, and everybody was like, "I was waiting for the punchline to come in." <laughs> you know, it's weird <laughs> when King Batch is trying Dude, to be serious. <laughs> you can't take him serious, man. Are you King can't for real, for real. He was a goat back then. He like, was, that was the awesome. goat. That he was, was like middle school me. Yeah. I'm hoping they bring like the way like TikTok's changing. I hope they bring back like a Vine or some shit. Like we need. It's time for another app. Yeah, it's definitely time for another app, bro. Hopefully, it's something good. So, all right. So, with your wave, what was your first wave like? Like, what was the first video that took off? First wave was a drinking game. It was shot roulette. We done it before. It was where you put like two nerf bullets in like a revolver like a nerf revolver <laughs> spin around over oh, this shot that's six shot boom got me to like a million wow damn yeah but like 
t- like back then TikTok was easy. Mm-hmm. Like once you get views and stuff, you get hella views because nobody else was doing was nothing but sup watching videos. Ah, yeah. So it's way easier to gain followers. So once I got to that, boom, one million. Then I started doing like same thing, other videos like drinking games. Then got to three million. And then started doing more drinking games, just like car games and shit. And then somehow I ended up with nine. Wow, that's crazy, bro. Mm-hmm. Damn. And that's all over a span of what, like f- five years now, right? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy, bro. Shit. So then, all right, so for for the so the first one where you got one million and you were like like straight at like were you like at hundreds? Were you at like a thousand followers? When I first started? Yeah. When I first started I was at like 50k, so it wasn't bad. Okay. So it, it it was it was above where others were, and I was just doing some cringy like cringy <laughs> shit, like doing like my first like viral TikTok was like, like, sing the song or get shot. So it was like Chris Brown, look at me now. Like you have to rap like uh, Busta Rhymes part. Oh yeah. And then if you don't rhyme, like I had a Nerf gun and I'll shoot the my fucking phone. <laughs> Yeah, and I try to take those downs, but like people still have it and like save it. It's like, no. <laughs> so that was my first viral one, and then so 50k gave me something to start with, mm-hmm. and I just went off with there. Okay, okay, okay. So you started with the light skin way. You basically was just light skin on that. Yeah, you yeah. Just, just got and I had the braids that. and everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, braids at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, I had oh the, uh, shit. What's his name? Lil Bow Wow. With the, with the beads oh. and that shit. Yeah. You had that in 2019? Yeah, bro, it was, it, was, it was COVID. I was bored. <laughs> you might as well do whatever to your hair. Who's going to see it? <laughs> TikTok. What dude. kind of beads was like? Is it white beads? It, it, was, it was the beads. It was like the color beads and the shit. The color beads? Yeah. yeah like was, the little Yachty beads, bro? Pretty much. <laughs> Not all red, but you feel me? But, yeah. Oh, shit. All right, cool. So then, all right. So after that, your first viral video. So how many how many views did it have um it's because what it, i think is interesting about when tiktok started like you could get like three million five million and you could gain like like okay. hella followers well it's harder now because five million if you get like a video of five million you probably get like twenty five thousand followers yeah it's so low but now. like back then if you got like five million you get like not a million followers but like almost like 300k followers god damn so then i think my highest video is like 1.2 and how i get like twenty thousand followers that's so fucking crazy yeah. bro wow damn that's the that's the algorithm instagram is on now too which is great yeah it's so fucking great which is like we need to eat that shit up and then once it stops it'll stop it's yeah like too many people are creating content and shit yeah, and we got paid too many people out so it's, yeah bro it's how it goes. man fuck them for taking away bonuses bro that's some bullshit. Oh, my they God. They just put me on that shit last week. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <sighs> so they're bringing them back. I mean, there hasn't been any, like, bonuses. They oh. said we'll add you once oh, we once have one available, back. but, like. Oh, I wonder, are they limiting the bonuses? That would make a lot of sense. Probably. Probably, for real, for real. Yeah, but um, I remember, uh, what? Oh, yeah, I'm part of this, like, the insight panel and shit like that. So they're, like, mm-hmm. watching my analytics. Like Every single time I get a chance, I'd be like, y'all need to bring bonuses back fuck is y'all doing but apparently it's for facebook now facebook is where you can get the bonuses on but facebook is so hard to break through yeah because it's like a family app so mm. i mean especially for what we make normal stuff yeah them dark humor dad jokes ah, they do well but they do well on instagram as opposed to going just directly on facebook, facebook yeah yeah it's hard because it's like once you repost something on facebook it's like your whole family sees it yeah so a lot of people aren't gonna repost that shit like, yeah that makes sense yeah all right cool so then you make your you make your come up with uh with your tiktok and everything so what mm-hmm. what are some of the opportunities that grew off of that working for brands i never thought I would work like for it was like so i always wanted to do social media because i played uh ball at kennesaw state mm-hmm. and i was like I'm not gonna say I was a face, but like I did like social media for them too. Yeah, like, I mean, of, like, you got pictures up on Kennesaw State yeah, and shit. I, I, I like, was just yeah. like this light skinned nigga, and just like they posted me. So <laughs> I always wanted to do like social media some way. And so I got to work with brands that like I never thought, like Buffalo Wild Wings. I got to work with like Beats and shit. And it's just, it was great. Like I always wanted to do like acting or like commercials, but like 
I'm a dumb nigga, so I can't remember lines. So like social media is perfect because like you can just say whatever you want. You know? Bro, it's okay. I know I know an actress, she yeah. has dyslexia. Shout out to Chanel Gaskin. She she be doing her thing for real, for real. Shout so, out to Bella Thorne. <laughs> oh, Bella Thorne has dyslexia? Yeah, did you did you not watch Disney? Oh nah, I didn't. Like, I they would have like a commercial kid, like every single day about like how hard it was for her to like act because she had dyslexia. Wow. Yeah. Oh shit. I never knew that, bro. She was corny as fuck, but shout out to Bella Thorne. Shout, shout out to, Bella to your Thorne. OnlyFans. Ooh, I bet her OnlyFans is jumping. I ain't gonna lie, I hit. I, I don't think. I hit. Bella Thorne? Yeah. Or Risen Dead? Damn. Ah, Bella Thorne. Yeah, Bella Thorne. Because of the piercings? Yeah, yeah piercings it's because she's more of an aesthetic than Zendaya. Zendaya's just a skinny, light-skinned girl. Bella Thorne, she's like, she like spicy white. So it's a little bit more appealing to me. I don't know. I feel like her cooch stink. Ah, I know that's the only downside to Bella. She just looked like it just yeah. isn't the best smell in the world. <laughs> Zendaya is your height, so I don't know. Man, Zendaya, Zendaya is your height. That's what she is. She like five ten. A woman <laughs> saying they're five ten, they're really six foot. On oh, God, for her, for her. that's man, actually so. a real thing. That's a real thing, bro. Uh uh-uh. oh, mm. damn. Who would you do? Who would you? Who would you? Be? How tall is Bella Zendaya? Thorne? I actually don't know. Oh. I imagine like five seven. Why should be like five four, bro? That should be happening sometimes, dog. Thorn height. She gotta be five seven. Five eight. Okay, that's a Damn. nice height. That's a nice height. I like that. Oh yeah, not for you. I do Bella Thorn. You do Bella Thorn? I mean. <laughs> wait, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm so tall here. I got two centimeters. <laughs> this nigga swear that he's six foot tall, bro. He's he's, he's a good five Sur- ten. Search my name up and a full combine. <laughs> Five eleven and a half. You did the NFL combine. I did the FCS version. FCS. Oh, okay. So okay, like this FBS, FCS. It's not Quill's level. It's not like yeah. He was Big Twelve, and I was like Sun Belt A Sun. Oh, so uh, K saw a Sun Belt. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I always thought. I don't know why. I just feel like it's a Division two school. I don't know why. I just it basically those is. Vibes. Yeah. It's like if you're not D one D one, then like you're basically Division two. But okay, it's that in between. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, okay. So cool. So you was on the football team, and then you handled their social media, and then that's when you like, you know, just caught a vibe for it and shit. Pretty much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, um, so then, when was the when was the was it like you leaving college when everything took off, or did it take off while you were during college? Yeah. So I graduated right before, right before COVID happened, like before it was like released, mm-hmm. and yeah. When did you like, graduate high school? High school or college? High school. I graduated high school 2015. 2015. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, I always thought you was mad younger than me. I graduated nah, 2014. We're like the same age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like just one year. So I graduated high school 2015, graduated mm-hmm. college 2019 in December. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. COVID wow. came in like two or three months later. Man, fuck COVID for real, for real. Actually, shout out to COVID. It was, it was a hit or miss. That's was hit or miss, but I kind of miss the days. Yeah. It was smooth. It was like so not dope. doing shit, just playing games. Man, I miss the PPP loans, bro. I hit on a PPP Man, loan, I didn't bro. Get that. Ah, uh, <laughs> be nice. If you would have knew me, I would have connected you to somebody in California. Shout out to all them scams niggas dependent. in California. You was dependent. Oh. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Your dad does accounting. Oh yeah. He <laughs> so he was getting them shits. You know. <laughs> oh shit. Black mamas ain't funny, paying. Bro. They ain't playing that shit. They're like, you live in my house. You paying for? I'm paying for your food. So uh, what yeah. you need to check for? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Bro, shout out to your dad for real. For real. I, fuck with, I fuck with Papa Jones. He's a nigga. Yo, he be telling me all the time about his stories. He be telling me about how uh, how Jalen got, got full college. Uh, he that got his college paid for for, fuck it, um, for a commercial, commercial he did. A Target commercial. Yeah, y'all was in a Target commercial. Wait, tell me about that. Tell me about the car- Target commercial. It's because you were in it too, right? Yeah, but my brother's like, he's different from me. Like, if you like, if you show me a surprise, like if you give me a surprise or something, like. I remember I got like surprised like with like a car or something. Mm-hmm. I like thank you, I appreciate it. Like I'm very nonchalant. Mm-hmm. My brother's an anime nigga, so like if you give him a surprise, he's gonna freak out. He's like, oh my god, what the fuck, yeah. So basically, like, the tar commercial was like his acceptance letter to like Jersey State. Yeah, and he like freaked out. He was like, yeah, what the fuck, yeah. Uh, and like Target made a commercial out of it. Boom, boom went crazy. Yeah, damn. Hey, turn up. See, sometimes you just got to be more outgoing, nigga. Well, this is great. 
Yeah, it's crazy because he's one of those like introverted ass niggas. He's very introverted. Who has like extroverted tendencies? You feel me? Yeah. And tendency like came cool. out benefit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because that nigga be doing backflips and shit. Yeah. Okay. 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 That makes sense. That mm-hmm. makes sense. And then wait, did y'all like record it yourself or did y'all have like a camera crew there? Mama recorded it. It was oh, like a trailer. Like, okay. iPhone 8. Boom. Oh, shout out to the iPhone 8. Yeah. Is that the color iPhone or is that 6? Yeah. Wait, color iPhone? In Remember February? when the iPhone colors? In February? That's crazy. <laughs> I actually don't know. I don't remember. I think that no, I think that's four, bro. I think that's iPhone four, bro. No, I remember oh, the four. The four S was just like the square. It was like just like black or white. It was like yeah, but yeah. then they had the ones you could get. Uh, no, it was iPhone five. Baby Maybe blue? that's what the color one. Probably the baby blue, the pink, the yellow. I think that was five. Ah, uh, probably. Yeah, that makes sense. And then they had, oh, and then they oh, had that's the when it came out with the five C. That was the five C was the iPhone five color. Oh fuck yeah, Boom. yeah yeah. yeah. 5C. I used to have the baby Math. blue one, bro. Shout that shit was cold. Yeah, I remember cold. that shit. Yeah, cold as a bitch, bro. I remember that. There you go. Oh shit, hell yeah. So what are some of the other uh, companies that you've worked with, like on TikTok? So we said Buffalo Wild Wings. We said Beats. Um, Govi, which is like it's a big gamer thing because like the lights, bro. I got a Govi light over there. You feel me? Nigga, Govi, yeah, Govi. That's move. Uh, Anchor is like a big with electric too. Oh, and that's a shot of clock, shot of clock, shot of clock. Yeah, that bitch sound like a detonator. Oh damn, I'm gonna drop the top. Mm. I took the top off. All right, you just wanted it. Oh yeah, damn, just go the glass. You're getting it dirty. Oh, right. Jack in the Box? Jack in the Box. Oh, yeah, I remember. You Didn't remember the Jack in the Box joint get reshared by uh, No Jumper? Did he? No, no, I think that's Crystals. Oh, the Crystal shit? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was probably... Well, let me not talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jack in the Box and Crystals is some wild shit because their food's mid. <laughs> but, you know, I still eat it. Hey, as and long then, as the check come with it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so Jack in the Box crystals. Um, there's a bunch of like card games because you know that's mostly what we play with. Uh-huh. I wanted to get sponsored by Nerf, but that didn't happen. Damn, mm-hmm. that's wild, bro. Nerf would have been perfect too for for real. Yeah, I wonder why not. We said some dark humor shit, so, you know, it makes sense. Yeah, that's one downside yeah. about dark humor. People love it, but then it's like, it makes companies maneuver differently with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But right. hopefully it gets better. Hopefully, for real, for real. Or I can just do the rebrand. That's coming shortly. A rebrand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so what was like... Um, so this is the only thing I see with Warren all the time. It's like you start trends and then people redo your ter- trends, but they don't give you credit. Have you ever ran into that before? So personally, I didn't care much about like other people doing trends and not giving credit. But there's like a bunch of times where people in our like our group would do like a trend that I gave. Mm-hmm. And then so we like we had to like kick people out because of it. Ah, yeah. Dang. So we had like one buddy in our group who like, you know, I started the freestyle and shit, mm-hmm. which is like, it's like rhyme games and buddy would do the rhyme games with like people from like, like my college and high school. Yeah. And it's like, bro, I taught you that shit. Like, if you're going to do it, like do it at my crib because mm-hmm. you're a part of the group and nigga wouldn't. And so it's just like, bro, I went to kick out the group. Which is like it kind of hurt both of us because like if he would have done it at my place, he would probably would like still be growing. Mm-hmm. And then like if I would have kept on that group because he was a talented guy, I give him that. Mm-hmm. Like I would probably been like eleven million too. Dang. So it was kind of like a it was a setback, but oh, it is what it is. So it 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 it, it kind of made me mad because it's like you were there when I came up with the shit, mm-hmm. but then like I don't know, it was just too much understandable and then how is it like finesse and like working with especially the group aspect because you know from the videos you do and the videos we do it's like the group makes it bigger and then sometimes it's hard to to get everybody on the same page you feel me what are some advice you get to anybody out there who's trying to like do some shit like that like working with friends or working better? with friends yeah and then establishing friendship and business relationships because you know that shit's actually hard as fuck it's a tough situation i mean like 
I used to do the whole separate business and friendship, but it's like you can't. It's like friendship. Like friendship is there too. So yeah, it just depends on the, like the person. Mm. So I tried that wave, and then I'm like, fuck it. I tried to be the wave where it's like, a hey, it's my content. Like come up with your own content, and then at the end of the day, it's just you gotta realize like if you have the right right friends and you know like they're gonna eat hopefully they'll feed you too especially if you you're eating and you feed them yeah so it's like when i grow i hope you guys grow and i hope you guys grow past me and like don't forget like who helped you grow you, oh yeah you, definitely. you see what you see what i'm saying oh yeah 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 so that's that. what i hope for and then like the group before that i knew if like if i helped them if i helped them grow they're probably just fucking scale off mm-hmm. you know but Working with friends and family, it was, was kind of tough because, like, you know, my brother was part of the group, and then I had to be like, hey, man, you're slacking off. Mm. And, like, I had to kick, like, my own brother out. And then, ah, like, yeah, some friends yeah. would be like, hey, bro, you're you're slacking off, or, like, you're just you're just in the way. Mm-hmm. So, like, you, you kind of got to go. Yeah. So it kind of sucks, but it's all love at the end of the day. You mm-hmm. know? It's just a business. Yeah, I mean, that's the shit that comes with it, you feel what I'm saying? And then uh, I think that's the one like downside with having groups is like you, it, it's so hard, especially when it's family, is because you're like judging yeah. everybody's performance. Mm-hmm. And then it's even harder to like look at your family member and be like, damn, your performance is off. And then it becomes a family thing and it's a family yeah. argument. And it's like, ah. It's getting bad because like when you do it with like your family friends, the chemistry is already there. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. And then, but. It's it's like fifty fifty. It can be awkward if you like kick them off or have any problems, but in a day it's like your family, so it's like you're stuck with me anyways. And that's Thanks. how it was with my brother. It's like me and my brother were so close. It's like we're family. Like we can't yeah. can't go anywhere. And you're welcome whenever. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. just TikTok. They don't need to fall out with a family member over TikTok. I personally feel true for real for real. Shout out Jalen. True. I don't I don't feel that way with anything. It's like yeah. I wouldn't fall for anything for my brother. You know, he has a... a I don't like his woman. But... <laughs> yeah, it's like... It's a job. TikTok's also a job, too. So it's like, imagine just, like, losing a job because your family member's acting up. Oh, yeah. So it's nah. like, you can think about it like that. But my brother... I go bankrupt for that guy. Yeah, of course. You got to, bro. Family is strong, bro. Family is strong. You got to be there for your family. No and niggas what. don't realize that. That was an argument I had on TikTok earlier. What? There was a video of um, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. His wife was like in, in a club. Mm-hmm. And his, you know, his little brother got in trouble for doing some dumb shit. What like, do you do? I, I ain't hear he about this. He had allegations for uh, sexual battery. Damn. Yeah. So he had allegations of sexual battery. He's free, whatever, doing whatever. Mm-hmm. He, he's a cringy TikToker. <laughs> and he tried to get in his wife's section. So his wife talks to the bouncer for like two seconds. Yeah. And then the bouncer's like, no, I'm not letting him in. Damn. So she just leaves and just starts dancing. And then like, I think it's Jackson, Jason Mahomes, something. It was like, bro, I'm I'm Patrick Mahomes' brother. He was like, no, I'm not letting it slide. And the wife's just dancing. Damn. So I commented. I was like, if if that was my little brother and my wife just – just stood there and started dancing while my little brother trying to get in the section that I probably pay for. I'm not letting that shit slide. Facts. It's like it's Facts. blood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I definitely feel that for real. For real. It's like, yeah. bro. Like at the end of the day, like, yeah. That's that's yeah. fucked up on her end for real. For real. That's dirty. That's She's dirty. like, ah, oh, you gonna figure it out? Let me start busting it open to sexy red. Like, no. Hell no. Nah. The fuck I paid for this section, bro. Hell yeah. Nah, bro. That's tweaked out, bro. And I got an argument over my shorty with it because I told her the same thing, and she was like, "Well, he did this and stuff." I was like, "I I get that. Like, I'm not condoning what he did. Like, yeah. Like, brother, brother is at fault." But in the day, that's blood. That's my brother. So it's, I got to take care of him. Like, the world's going to hate him. I got to love him. I got to teach him what he did wrong. Exactly. And then at the end of the day, that had nothing to do with him getting into the section. He didn't get into the section is because, like, he probably just came there late or some shit like that. He just realized, oh, damn, that's my brother's wife over there and tried to get in. And she acted weird about it. You could have diffused that real easy. Somehow. If the wife actually tried, she probably could have 
I feel like yeah. it's her section. So it's, come on now, you can let anybody in if it's your section, bro. You mm-hmm. can kick anybody out if it's your section. Yeah. She just dead ass didn't try. Ah, oh, that's dirty. Yeah, that's dirty as hell, man. I was gonna say shout out Casey Mahone, but we can't we can't really shout him out because he has you know sexually battery charges. But um, oh yeah, wait. What's you, his name? you just Casey Mahomes, right? No, it's like Jackson. Oh, Jackson. <laughs> He's a Casey. Jackson, Casey, Jack, whatever. I, I just think of a yeah. light skin name. It's definitely yeah, a light skin. Casey, that was a light skin ass <laughs> name. I was like, what? I thought you were talking about his wife. Actually, then, shout out to him, though because he uh, he did some shit where there's a shooting in Kansas. Yeah, and he was like protecting a bunch of kids. And stuff oh shit! And helping them fight their parents. Okay, yeah, turn up, bro. And so hell like, yeah! All right, shout out, man. Like I know you did wrong, but you working way up. <sighs> you still cringy as fuck on TikTok, bro. <laughs> He wanted a light skin, light skin niggas on TikTok. Bro, he was like, he's like seven foot. He's, oh, he, he's like a six six TikToker, like doing like the dances and shit. No, yeah, it's like oh, he got to do with the big chin, right? He got a big. Is he a big chin dude? You know, I'm talking about a light skin, big chin dude that be dancing. Wait, which nigga are you talking about? I'm talking about a light skin nigga with the big chin. There's probably like TikTok, two or three. Bro. There's like three with like, curly hair. It's probably him. That's Wait, are you talking about the nurse nigga or nah? Oh, he might be a nurse. Nah, I don't know. I don't know his name. Does he have I tattoos? Can... Nah, he don't have tattoos. Okay, then it might be him. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh damn, that ain't got mega chin for real. For real. Damn. I ain't gonna lie. If my chin was that big, bro. Crimson. Like I'm talking <laughs> about. Like nigga got the handsome Squidward chin, bro. Like that shit is huge, bro. I don't even know. And he don't even got facial hair. I feel like that's one of them chins you got high with facial hair. You gotta have a beard. You got. It's just just at naked? least to hide it. If it's just a naked, but bro. But Patrick Mahomes don't have a chin. Goatee. Oh, yeah, yeah. He don't. And he got the little fat boy. The little fat Patrick boy Mahomes chin. is kind of chubby. Yo, he's insanely chubby, actually. Dad that's, bod That's crazy. But that's like the prime of athletes. Yeah, especially for quarterbacks. I remember uh, Shannon Sharp was talking about it. He was like, the, the, the quarterbacks who were like in shape, them niggas suck, bro. Yeah, besides Lamar Jackson. Shut up. Shout that's, out your, that's your hometown. That's yeah, my that's guy right there. Yeah. You feel me? Well, my hometown is Virginia, but we still rap Baltimore. You DMV. know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, we don't. I hate it when niggas niggas. It's because I'm from like the closest city to where I'm from is uh, Roanoke, Virginia. But you're closer to to North Carolina. Like you can go to Greensboro, North Carolina, quicker than you can go to the capital, DC, and Virginia. Uh, no, that's no, nuts. the capital, Richmond, and Virginia. So like when niggas are from where I'm from, and they're like, "Oh my God, DMV!" It's like shut your ass up, bro. This is North Carolina, bro. You're closer to North Carolina. Than yes. Virginia. So you're from my streets. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not Greensboro, but Charlotte. Uh, Shout out to Mill. Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh shit! Shout out to that, bro. Oh man, you been fucking with that new Kanye album? It's 50-50. 50-50? How many? How many tracks do you like from it? I, I like the majority of it. I can't name them. The majority of it? I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only fuck with like three. It's like a, it's like a late night drive type album. Ah. And it's probably mostly because um, who's the uh, the future? Almost every every single song. Ty Dolla Sign. Oh, Ty Dolla Sign. Yeah, it's yeah. mostly it's mostly like a late night drive mm-hmm. type like type album, but I, I fuck with it. I give it like a six point five. Uh, it's not nothing crazy, but it's not mid. That. It's not. It's not uh, ass. Nah, that shit is a five for me. A straight five out of ten, bro. I think you're capping, bro. Bro, I'm not capping, dog. I mean, I think it's some good like like Fashion Week runway music. I could give it that. But could I say that it's over a five out of ten? No, I can't. I think if seems you seems incomplete. If you compare it to his other albums, it's it's worse than mid. But if you like compare it as an album in general, compared to like other artists, it's it's above mid. Nah, it's, still, it's at least a six point five or a seven. Still under mid, bro. Well, albums aren't even good anymore for real, for real. But still, it's just under That's mid. That's true. But it's, then I, we live in the singles era. Yes, and yeah. I got a theory on that. Okay. So would you believe me if I told you that the Kanye isn't the real Kanye and we haven't seen the real Kanye since 2018? He died off? Nah. Okay. Here's what happened. Okay. So remember when Kanye went to uh, Uganda to work on Yandi? I did not know that. Yeah. Sorry. So in 2018, he goes to uh, Uganda. He goes to Uganda to work on his album Yandi, which was super duper anticipated. Okay. It was supposed to come out into 2018. So he wanted like to connect to nature and shit. So he Makes wanted sense. to get to his roots. So one night he's like, 
bro, uh, let's go on this like safari. Let's go to the middle of nowhere. Mm. And his security, they were like, no, like, bro, we don't recommend you doing that whatsoever. And Kanye being Kanye, just hired Ugandan security to take him out there. So apparently he almost got kidnapped in that process. That's what the headlines read. And it was a standoff for probably like a couple of hours from the nighttime into the morning. Yeah. He was eventually given back and then they brought him like back to the United States of America. So if you like, if you peel back the layers. So Uganda during 2018 received a grant from the Korean International Co-op Agency. Now, this was for international travel, basically making them an, uh, making them a whole entire airport so they can conduct international travel. This grant was from nine point six million dollars. Yeah. OK. During the same time in 2018, Korea developed these robots and they even had like 85 humanoid robots at the South Damn. Korean Winter Olympics doing shit like just guiding people and picking up trash. Like actually acting like human staff. In South Korea? Yes. It's fucking nice. So then here's my theory on it. I feel like they developed um, a travel channel. So they have like, um, they were transporting like technology from Uganda to other places. And I feel like they had this humanoids, because each humanoid robot has like a chip in its brain. When they kidnapped Kanye West, they put a chip in his brain. And then they, when they released them and they got the sum of money that they wanted, they released them back into the world, bro. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know about. I don't know but about then, that one. But think about it. If we build back the layers even more, okay. So t- 2018 is when Kanye was tweaking out and everything. He said, Facts. "Um, uh, slavery was a choice." But that's because a white woman. Ah uh, no! <laughs> oh, wait now, wait now. You say slavery is a choice? No. So in Korean culture, that was actually the longest blockchain of slavery that's ever happened in United in in the world. So a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people in Korea do think slavery is a choice. So that could be coming from the chip. You feel what I'm saying? He had Uh, this uh, line in Jesus is King when uh, he dyed his hair blonde is for the times that he almost died. And that was a near death experience. And his hair was blonde when he came back. And then that's when he really started tweaking out, started supporting MAGA. And who was close to Donald Trump? Kim Jong-un. He was our... Oh, shot o'clock, shot o'clock, shot o'clock. He had a lot of just bug out like moments during 2018. And I think it's because the software wasn't updated. So now we're getting to a, a more refined Kanye with the software. But then if you think about it, after 2018, he's never dropped like a solo production album or a solo album. Which They're all super duper collaborative efforts yeah. because he's getting carried. he right. can't do he's it by himself. It's because he has a chip in his brain. Nah, <laughs> man. Let's take a shot before I speak my mind. <laughs> oh shit, Kanye is a humanoid, bro. I'm trying to tell you, dog. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. So, the person who I think is supporting Donald Trump. Cheers. I kind of get it now, and it sounds bad. It sounds bad. I'm you know sorry. What? No, I'm with you on this for real, for real. I prefer Trump over Biden for real. For real. You feel me? It sounds bad. Like before Biden was like voted in. I was like, fuck Trump, whatever. But also, like, all our presidents are their ass. Mm-hmm. And I didn't fuck with Biden before he, like, started, like, another war or us getting to another war. Yeah. So, and if I was a rich man in the way that Biden, I mean, Trump works for rich people, mm-hmm. I'd probably be a Trump supporter, too. So I get that part, too. Yeah. Second, when it comes to, like, Kanye West's, like, albums and stuff, he, he's mostly, I feel like he's mostly f- focusing on production now. Yeah. So like his rapping is gonna be mid because he uh, he's doing it all and he's he's been doing it all but I feel like that's just like main focus now and like even his shit it it, it may be it may be mid compared to his old shit because he had oh, to get yeah. his name out and everything back then but now it's like his name is out so he can do whatever the fuck he wants yeah that's true and it's like you'll never get that hunger from college dropout late registration graduation yeah. 808 heartbreaks good kid uh no 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 not good kid Be- my beautiful twisted dark fantasy yeah. like you'll never get those again but i do think something is off about this man and i think he's not he can't it's not the normal you don't think it's just ran out of lyrics man it's just like you dropped all this heat and and it's, it's the time where you just your creativity is like you can't come up with that much oh, shit. Oh, for real, for real. If you get deeper about it, you know Saha the Prince, right? Uh. Uh-uh. Saha the Prince was um. Ah, uh, how can I? 
how can I tell him to you if you don't know him? Anyway, he was a rapper that was signed to Good Music a long time ago. He's been good signed music. to Good Music even mm-hmm. to this day. So uh, he was actually Kanye West's writer for oh, a long wow. time. Yeah, one of the coldest lyricists ever. Yeah. So um, yeah, nah, he stopped writing for him. Uh, I think after my beautiful twisted dark fantasy. Oh wow. He has a song on there, and um, it's uh the fucking ridiculous song. What is that shit called? Uh, I'm stunt. This is gonna burn the bitches. This shit is fucking ridiculous. Uh, fucking ridiculous. I don't, I don't, I don't remember the song name. But in order to get his song, in order to get his track on the album, is because Kanye West was just taking all his lyrics at the time and not even giving him an opportunity that he wanted. He snuck that recording in and he sent it the deadline it was supposed to be mixed and mastered. Yeah. So Kanye never even heard that that verse. And then he heard it for the first time when it, it like released. Yeah. But um, all right, so to know Saha the Prince bars, um, he wrote this for Kanye West. Restraining order, we met at borders. Her mother, brother, grandmother hate me in that order. That was like he wrote the second verse on all of the lights for Kanye West. And he wrote a lot of and um his pin oh. game is lethal, bro. He wrote coffee bean word by word for Travis Scott. Oh wow. Yes, and it actually got leaked. And it was it was gone in twenty four hours. Like he and that's he even says in interviews he enjoys writing for people, but he's basically how party next door is to Drake, side the prince is that to Kanye West. That hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Are they beefing now? Nah, nah, I don't think so. Sauce, I don't know. It's too nice. Yeah, I think he's a very nice person when you break it down. But then there's a lot of you know there's a lot of like even with production, a lot of producers have ghost producers. And other people produce their hits for them. So my brother used to uh, produce for Metro Boomin. Like they'll come in and help, but they're actually doing the whole shit. They'll get paid like a flat rate. So it's like, hey, for I'm helping. Send you, yeah, I'm gonna send you all these sounds, make some beats out of it, and I'll give you like 200 a beat. And they probably think that's great. Cause yeah, it's like, it's like, hey, I could work for this guy and build on a resume, and it's just like, it's, whole it's, time, it's not gonna be on your resume, bro. Whole time he's making like two hundred thousand dollars off of the two hundred dollar beat you just gave him. Like a little Wayne, what was the little Wayne song that went viral? What the fuck though? No. Hey, where the love go? Hey, five, five four, three, three two, two, I let, I let one, one go. go. Ah. Yeah, Swiss Beats didn't produce that, bro. <laughs> the king of Swiss beats? beats did not produce that, bro. I think he redid the drums. That's about it. And I felt bad for the way that Usher did him, <laughs> but it, it makes sense. Yo, Usher was really sliding on my <laughs> On Alicia Keys. And I mean, I would have done the same thing. Not going to lie to you. Right. Well, speaking of Usher. Oh, wait, wait, let me start. Let me start the shot o'clock. It's because this man I to pee. went to go pee. Yeah. And now we're back. All right. What what you got to say well, about Speaking Usher? of Usher, I think it's crazy how like people are, I don't want to say romanticizing, but like allowing what happened at the Super Bowl to happen. Because just like, wait, 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 Alicia talk. Keys is a married woman. <laughs> Usher, to be fair, you, you can do the argument. He just got engaged the day or like hours after he pulled that fucking stunt. But let's reverse it. If it was a, you know, a married man doing this shit, it's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Bro. All right, you make a point out. Nobody really put a red flag up about it. But it's like Usher, a known hoe, and then a married, a, woman, a married woman. Not a married woman. Relentlessly like, bro. not giving up. Like he he swooped in like three, four times to get that hug. And that's just fucking crazy because it's just like you know damn well they weren't doing that shit in rehearsal. <laughs> it, it, if it was rehearsal, like my, my girl better fucking tell me. And Swiss Beats, he tweeted like that nigga did not know. Oh man, he was cool about. Not only that though, for real, for real, people be acting like Usher don't got herpes, and that shit really pisses me off. For real, for real. I mean, shit, probably half of. But he the got the bad people. herpes, bro. There he was started. Reason, he there started. Was one. <laughs> he started. He's the reason why Atlanta has it. It's him. <laughs> he started Atlanta. That, it's it's his fault. <laughs> bro, there was one like this is a girl who was talking about how she was cheating on Usher during the time she was like green stuff fell out of his dick. Oh hell no! And then. <laughs> here's what she did she wiped it off and she hopped on that motherfucker bro yes dog he got green spewing herpes bro and, and we she just still hopped on it's usher though so i get it that's the keys i get I it i want to be that famous to where i have green stuff coming what? out of my what? dick a green herpes, I don't think it <laughs> green spewing herpes and girls still want to be on that nba young boy diet hell no <laughs> 
Fuck no. That shit's crazy, bro. But nah, we can't. I ain't gonna That's lie. Right. As soon as I heard, if if I'm Swiss Beats, my my girl Alicia Keys coming to me like, yeah, so Usher wants me to uh, perform in a Super Bowl with you. I'll be like, ho, ho, ho. Bro, what? Herpy boy? No, Bump Boy. You, you're performing with Bump Boy, who's I, known for giving just don't, song. Just don't touch him, but she let that man hug on her. She did the whole... She Nah, she tried to get two away Two-hand grab? I ain't gonna lie. She tried to get away from that. You think so? Yeah, Usher won't. Nigga, her doing this? She was like... She tried to do the little tap. She was like, oh, I'm done. I'm done. Get off of me. I, I need her to do like a, a Nicki Minaj with like Playboy Cardi where she's like, Bro, don't she... touch me, boy. <laughs> I need my girl to do that. She put that shit in the song. That's how you know she was... That's, so, that's what I need. That's how I need my girl. My girl... That's why you got... Beware of light-skinned girls who don't wear makeup, bro. They be too nice. They be too bad. That's they be too fighters. bad. They be too nice. You feel what I'm saying? They just let anything slide. You just gotta know that they're gonna control the re- relationship. I need my so girl to be mean. I need my girl to be like, no. Facts. I need my girl to push this and that, off. It, it, it's the era. It's a lot of like nice girl era. Cause like my ex, she was like too nice. And it was just like, that's why we, we broke shit off. Uh, I don't like it when a girl's too nice. No, it's, it's so no ifs. It's like, at least try to kill me. I like it when I'm at least like, th- my life is threatened. Like, so you like, mean like not too nice to you too? No, no, no. She can be nice to me, but if I they, piss her off, <laughs> it's like she she's going that way. But oh. at the end of the day, of course, she's gonna be nice to me, is because I'm okay. I'm I'm her guy. I'm not one of those dudes. Is like, oh yeah, I want my girl to talk to me any type of way. No, 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 no. Uh, uh-uh. no. Don't get don't get choked out now. But um, like I like her for her to be mean to other people. That's what I like. Yeah. And I, like my my guys got mad because they're like, your girl acts mean to me. I was like, yeah, I like that shit. Yeah, as she should. Like, I'm, I, I would like my girl to be like, not like you. Yeah, it's cool. yeah, fuck with it. yeah. I like an antisocial girl. Or but once she's like cool with my family, that's straight. Yeah, that's true. But if she argues and talks shit. That's that shit. Oh wait, there was a. All right, so we about to get in superhero would you rather's. But um, this remind me of would you rather that uh that Khalil did for the show. Oh. It was like, would you rather your your girl not be cool with your friends or not be cool with your family friends i feel like friends is a big one right yeah you one know, nigga said family that shit was nah weird. they're probably not close to her family more than likely yeah but like i'm you know dad's pastor yeah. i'm super close to my family so it's like and i love my friends too but like me you know i can hang out with my hang out with my friends without her yeah so i'm not stressing but it'll be hard to hang out with my family without my girl exactly yeah my, my girl and my sister got a good relationship for real for real yeah sister yeah i got you a, sister. Like you have a sister you said what i look like i have a sister what Makes does that sense. even mean don't know <laughs> what don't does know. that even mean don't bro know. uh-oh nah i don't be letting people know about my sisters because niggas used to be on my sister hard like back in the day You'd be like yo is your sister yo, fine she i she she look like me nigga but she don't look like me me does she really look like you she look like she she don't you know how some niggas like what are the odds i can see her <laughs> I, no. I, I, I won't hit on your no, sister no, bro no, come no, on no. let me see your sister you know how some niggas they sister look like them like in the chin and shit like my sister don't look like that she like we got like the same eyes and shit. but she's she's good looking she all right you know what i'm saying my sister i mean i don't we, hope you i'm gonna see her and be like did, yeah, did your, my sister bad as fuck did your, did your friends try hitting your sister oh all the time bro bro why can't see you growing up i'm not gonna hit your sister let me see what she look like oh god I, 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 nigga, i'm not gonna hit your show, sister i'll show it to you later bro i I'll have a girl <laughs> <laughs> that don't make a difference you're this tp the same way tp oh, got a sister bro. that nobody wants to show and then like when niggas find out about your sister that's all they gonna want to talk about bro uh no. i don't i would never go that low I don't, <laughs> I don't go for sisters and i won't talk about mamas uh, I, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that unless not, it's a mama joke not yeah. everybody is like that no. <laughs> anyway all right so we're getting a superhero would you rathers so i got a couple of these up and i pulled them straight from reddit all right so if you were a supervillain which superheroes would you rather fight we got so so all right so here's the here's the guidelines you have the same power as a superman but you have the same iq and fighting style as you okay (laughs) Okay. iq's low (laughs) (laughs) so would you rather fight iron man fuck the hulk fuck thor spider-man or the flash and the same power as a Superman? You have to say, but you have your fight in IQ. <laughs> I'm being the fuck out of Spider-Man. I feel like Spider-Man is the good one to go to. It's it's it, just, yeah. That nigga's like 17. 
Yeah, and he's not as smart as Thor. I mean, not not Thor. He's not as smart as uh, the Hulk. Yeah. He's not as strong as Thor. I'm fine fucking Spider-Man. Yeah, I would never choose Spider-Man. But... I think running up... Well, nah, I wouldn't say Iron Man. Because Iron Man in that suit... Iron Man's a big-ass nigga. He'll he find my weakness. Yeah. Which might be like a fucking porn site. Like, watch this. <laughs> fuck. Watch bisexual porn. Here you go. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> hey, hey. How does it feel being bisexual on TikTok? How, did, how does it feel knowing that's like a search that people look at your name and it's like... Like, Simba Jones is bisexual. See, what it was is... I... I <laughs> Well, it, it, I was on a bisexual wave. I was. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. How the yeah. fuck you get on a bisexual wave? I was on a bisexual wave. Like, I was like, maybe. And it wasn't like men, men. It was like, it was like, <laughs> hear me out, hear me out. It wasn't men, men, but it was like trans men. Would you, would you hit Hunter from Euphoria? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. So you see what I'm saying? So you see what I'm saying? That's what I mean, like, bisexual. It's like, I'm not going to hit, like, a fucking grown-ass man with a beard. <laughs> Fuck no. Like, but that's what I meant. And then I... Bro, how did this happen, bro? And then I tried it. Why did you... And wait, I was wait, like, wait, whoa, whoa, fuck whoa, no. Whoa, 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 You tried it? I tried it, and I was like, no. You tried it? I tried it, and I was like, nah. Fully, this. fully transitioned over? Not transitioned over, but I was like, I tried, like, a trans man or whatever, and I was like, yeah, never again. Like, wait, what? You had a... A, a, a thing? Yeah what oh lord bro but yeah never again like literally walked out like two minutes after i was like no bro ain't no way bro so wait wait no, no. <laughs> so did you set up plans and the minute they pulled out the little the little seven bro. inch you was like i don't think i can do this bro i was like that's not me <laughs> like, i bet he was pissed bro i was like I'm straight. <laughs> I bet he was so pissed, he, bro. She, whatever she, like. They was mad as fuck. Whatever they claimed, I was like, bro, I like women. <laughs> Walked out, I was like, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> bro, what the hell? And that's I how go, it goes. But it's I ain't gonna like, lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That happened to one of my homies. One of my homies said he was at this club. Uh, my homie Georgie, he is a he'll tell everybody for real, for real. He's not like in the closet about it. But he was like he went to the club and it was this one day and she was looking fine and everything. Exactly. And he was making out with her and everything. And then he went back to the crib and then they were making out and then she stood up and she dropped her pants and he was like her wang was bigger than his and it was just right in his face. <laughs> Bro, it's just it's it's, it's a life point. That's a, it's a bad and good part of sexuality. It's just it's open like it's you know. Is there and once i saw her shit i'm like yeah i definitely like woman straight woman oh lord bro like, born woman no I disrespect wanna, to any of the trans community say, but oh, i was like never again i want to say i'm sorry that you got there but you you put yourself in that situation bro i did i literally i literally put myself in that situation i could avoid it i put myself in the situation because it's like it's like watching all these shows and shit. It's like, damn, I might be into that shit. No. I'm not. <laughs> Never That's again. A shot of glass, shot of so when people like be like, oh, the bisexual, it's like, no, there was a chance I was, but <laughs> now, was it 2024? 2024. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm straight. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's yeah i'm straight as fuck shout out to you for even exploring bro i couldn't do it bro yeah i mean it was also like post-covid you know shout out to exploring but it's like this they keep banging my line that's the only way i can slide out exploring fucks you up sometimes sometimes it's good but sometimes exploring is just like it's a nightmare oh my god that's funny as hell bro okay all right i'm gonna put the next one with you right there And I don't mean to laugh this hard at your situation, but it's hilarious. No, it's a funny ass situation. I'll tell okay. Well, all right. So, um, all right. So, which superhero power would you rather have? Would you rather have Wolverine's retractable claws? That's smooth. Superman's spider web slingers. Spider Man's. Like the. He said Superman. Oh, I said Superman. Yeah. <laughs> I am drunk. All right. Uh, Spider Man's <laughs> spider web swing swingers. Um, Hulk strength only for five minutes. 
and you're maxed out. You can only oh, use this 50 tough. times a year. His max strength, though. Yeah, max strength okay. for five minutes straight, but you can only do it 50 times okay. a year. Or fly for 10 minutes like Superman, and you do this in 50 intervals Ooh. as well over a year. And just like in the natural world? Yeah, just in a regular world. Fuck. It's either between Hulk and Superman. I'm going to go with Superman. Superman? You don't want to... But flying for 10 minutes is not long enough. But it's, super, it's Superman. So Superman, he can like fly like almost like beyond the speed of light. So if... And I don't even need that. If I can just fly from here to fucking Asia you in just five minutes... Pay, you don't want to pay for plane tickets. That's what it bro, is. they'd be fucking taxing. <laughs> I'm in the right spirit. Bro, just to fly here to fucking like Asia in like five minutes, boom. Ah, Here to Europe, hurt. boom. Ah, that'd be cool. If I was a Hulk and like fight people for five minutes, it's just gonna. But it's, it's just gonna ask some year. problems. It's fifty times a year. But it's it's gonna ask for problems, bro. Imagine if you fight for fifty times a year and you know you're gonna get a dub. You're fifty and oh every single year, dog. I could get that. <laughs> that should actually be lit for real, for real. You better hope it don't last long than five minutes. That's what I'm saying. That's where you get <laughs> fucked. But you're the Hulk. You can smash somebody with one hit. His mass strength? Yeah. He probably could destroy, like, Earth. Yeah, you could destroy a planet. Yeah. Nah, I'm being Hulk, bro. But then imagine, <laughs> like, shit. it's on the 50, <laughs> 51st day. Now you really got beef, for real. <laughs> it's the 51st time, and it's like you're halfway through the year. And you're fucked. Like, you, you, <laughs> you did so run. much shit the like, 50 times, and, like, 51st, you're fucked. You gotta run away forever. And there's, there's no way you're counting all that. <laughs> you're gonna have a miscount. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, another one. Uh, nah, 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 let's go to this one. Oh, which superhero backstory would you rather have? Don't say Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Batman is definitely one of them. <laughs> Superman, <laughs> The Flash, Captain America, Spider-Man, or The Hulk? I kind of like, I like Superman's backstory. Yeah. So hear me out. He did lose his parents, of course, but yeah. he landed in a place where, like, he found a loving family, mm -hmm. and also like his parents are still, or his dad is still taking care of him. Mm -hmm. So like he has this whole luxury. His dad like giving him like wisdom, but he's not actually there. But he still has a loving mom and dad. Mom and dad, quotations. Yeah. At that's Earth. true. I'm trying to figure out how Superman makes his money, bro. It's because ain't no way he's working as an entry level reporter at a newspaper, still being able to afford. Like this nigga definitely like has to eat a lot, bro. Like he's nigga bro, like his six family, five two his thirty. Family, his family owns a farm. Ah, <laughs> what do you mean he has to eat a lot? It's, yeah. it's all there. He has eggs and cow he has milk, a fucking bro. farm. He basically gets feet like fed off the sun. Ah, so true. he does. He barely has. That's to right. Eat. He's an alien. That's right. He is yeah. an alien, and he's super smart. So it's like okay, he can make bread sense. if he wants to make bread. Nah, and see, I feel like Superman's life sucks. Why would you say that? It's because like his regular no no his regular life post being a superhero being a superhero lit but when he's just regular he be getting bitched out by people bro he just lives a very a uh, meek existence and I I have to be like an Iron Man bro he chooses that though so lame and what, how would you choose and that? the other side of the day who there's only one person that bitches him out Batman that's it. Who else is, is going to bitch him out? Which is wild. I'm talking about when... All right, yeah, yeah. On the superhero side, yeah. that's the only person that's... That nigga's a regular about. human, nigga. We get bitched out the same. That nigga's living a regular life. What do you mean? But still, like, just like, bro, like... I got to be like an Iron Man. I got to know I'm that nigga at all times. Like, yeah, bro. If I had to choose between being Superman or Iron Man? Oh, I would be Iron Man real quick. No. That nigga lives in the coolest place ever. That's facts. He does have money. Man. He got he money. Is. And not only that, he arrogant, he bro. He the smart. type of motherfucker who do who rent out a whole entire club and just do cocaine in it. I mean, that's facts. But like Imagine being in a section with Iron Man, bro. But Superman could do that shit if he wanted to. Ah, nobody wants to go to a section with time. Superman. That'd be lame. He could do that shit if he wanted to, he could be that nigga. That's like going to a section with Warren, bro. Shout out to Warren. That's my Shout roommate. He cool, but going to a section with Warren, you, you got Warren with you, nigga. This, but Superman like, is Warren, bro. But like Superman can't be that nigga. Ah, uh, but he, he destroy whatever he, he wants. Not. But I'll talk about as far as hanging out with. Nobody wants to hang out with Superman. He could be friends with Lex Luthor if he wanted to and have that money. 
But nah, he one of those people who's like, oh, I'd rather not. Exactly. Oh, no. He's a lame nigga. But lame as hell, yeah. bro. No, bro. All right. I live the Iron Man life and drive Lexus and shit. Would you rather date a superhero or a supervillain? Oh. That was a good one right there. Because Harley Quinn got some good pussy. <laughs> Uh, and poison it. ivy oh oh lord oh yeah definitely super what's villain. some it gotta be super villain i mean wonder woman some... probably got that the fire shit. and black canary fire mm. and i bet starfire got that fire oh, fuck. but her sister though <sighs> a villain mm. was it black fire what was it i don't remember the name I, 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 I take I take it over Starfire. Mm. I don't know. The super villains be looking bad. Ah, super villains. I'm not a furry, but hear me, hear me out. <laughs> cheetah, I'm not I'm not a furry, but Cheetah definitely could get over Wonder Woman, <laughs> bro. It's like yeah. every single. Ah, oh, but I think no, no, no. I think super villains are fucking sexy as shit, bro. Like when Poison Ivy walk in, bro. Every villain has like every superhero has like. A badass fuck villain. Yeah, and it's usually a bad bitch, and they always get seduced. I'm trying to get seduced. That's what I'm saying. I, the cat woman walk up to me. She's still money out of my pocket. Badass fuck. Me head. Oh, shit. I'm cool with that. Badass I'm cool fuck. with it. Superman? You ever see the Superman movie? Whoever the, the girl was in there? Badass fuck. Which Superman movie? The one with uh, Henry Cavill. There's like this woman who could like, beat niggas' asses, and she was bad as fuck. I forget her name. But I know what you're talking I don't even about. Know her name, which one? Which one was, was it? Was it? Was it? She was just, she was just in a was whole fucking two? suit. Was it one, two, or was it like the? It was. It was one. It was one. Yeah. Oh, she was bad as fuck. I'm definitely gonna be with super villain. I'll be like, hey, babe, how much Bro. money did you? Get? Then they steal shit too. They thieves. Ah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, you can steal all my stuff if you want to, for real, for real. I mean, it's just. Yeah. I mean, if it's a, if you're in a relationship with her, you know, what I'm saying like, is it technically what, stealing, Harley, or does she just Harley have your Quinn pin was number? A simp? Oh uh, yeah. Sometimes you just gotta pipe them down right, and you always have them down. True. Mm, Joker talks. probably doesn't have any feeling in his dick, so he just he's goes just off. Oh, uh, going off for like an hour, thirty minutes at a time. Somehow makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right, all right, all right. One more. One more. Last one. Yeah. Would you rather? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> Which superheroes toes would you rather suck? Wonder Woman, Elastic Girl. Or Catwoman. It's like Catwoman got them diamond toes. <laughs> I Catwoman might have a dope ass pedicure. That's what I'm saying. Ooh. That's a bad bitch. She probably got the fire Frenchies and shit too with the gems on top. Damn. I probably had to go for like Catwoman to last girl to Wonder Woman because Wonder Woman is fucking Amazon. So yeah, I was saying she's a probably, warrior. She probably got hairy ass feet for she real. Yeah, she don't care about her feet or oh. nails. But Catwoman. But like, she'll get it. But last the girl, imagine you just sucking one of the toes and then more fucking just stretch. <laughs> stretch. She ended up going down your throat. Ew, it's a dick at that point. <laughs> I look like the shit out. <laughs> oh, shit. I bet you would. I bet you would. Wait, Elastic Girl is that from fucking uh, what's what's the movie? You talking about Elastic Girl from? I don't even know. I got off Reddit. What is Elastic Incredibles? Girl from? I think it might be Elastic Girl from Incredibles. Let me double check. Nah, DC Doom Patrol. Oh, the fat bitch. Yeah, she's naturally fat. <laughs> naturally fat. But I mean, she, she was she was also a bad bitch. They got a little baddie playing her and everything. But she she's naturally she fat. was a thicker. She's she's a thicker. She a thicker one. No, like naturally, like when she's not Elastic Girl, she's fat. Oh, she fat. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Oh, um, but yeah, Watch Team Patrol, HBO. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. same thing. I yeah. mean, she's she's naturally a bad bitch, so she was like a she was like a major act actress. So mm-hmm. I I know she got. It. Same scale. Nah, Wonder Catwoman, Woman, bro. Catwoman got a good ass French tip pedicure that's and shit, saying. bro. Aww. She got her nails done. I feel like yeah. Catwoman would be a stripper in Atlanta. I feel like that's what Catwoman is. Facts. Mm. I feel like she'd be a bottle girl at a strip club. Like that's how oh. that's like that's how bad she is. Like she attracts people to get in, and then she but, like, just don't run. have to fuck you. you know? Yeah, that's All how right. bad she is. That makes a lot of sense. I can see that. Hell yeah. She got a vibe. Wow. 
Anyway, bro, thank you so much for stopping by. And cool. me. Finally got you on here. It's been another episode of Dumb Funny Pod. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, do all that jazz. Y'all know I'm drunk at this time. So if I left anything out, you'll see it in the comment section. Shout out my boy Simba. Any last remarks you want to leave the people with? Have a great day. <laughs> yes, sir. And we're out. Yes, sir.